like four different kinds of lip glosses right now. Oh wow. Before I did my makeup I was just feeling so strange and I almost didn't go to work. I'm trying to push myself out of those habits because I just have a lot of habits of like quitting things that I don't want to do or just like being too sensitive and not fulfilling the commitments that I've made because I feel a certain way when really to I need to push myself out of those comfort zones and then just do it because yes listen to your feelings and feel your feelings but on some level and on the actual like majority level of how the world works you have to like push through your feelings and just do things that you don't maybe don't want to do in hindsight but once you're there it's going to be more fulfilling and might lead you to other experiences too i don't work till 4 30 but i if i'm riding the bus i need to leave at 3 30 but if saf and dell can give me a ride then i can leave it um 3 45 or whenever safi goes to work because she's also working tonight and we're just little worker bees working our way and yeah that's all pretty much i had a really good day so far it's only 3 30 there's so much day left to come
but everyone was so drunk. Hello vlog. <laughs> she lives here. <laughs> special drink. Oh my, is that, what is it? Let's try it. Okay. Mmm, vodka Red Bull. Vodka Red Bull, baby. Yeah. It's actually so good. <laughs> it's good. It's Colorado, not baby. <laughs> Welcome to Colorado, baby. Like yeah, we left our house. It wasn't snowing at all. Then we, we ate, ate a, one slice of pizza for each. Five minutes. Five minutes, and now it's like literally coming down. It's blizzarding. <laughs> and also, like the wind patterns are so weird. This is not real. A Pluto, Aquarius. Pluto, and fucking Aquarius. We just went to Trader Joe's. <laughs> we just went to Trader Joe's and we got some snacks to enjoy. We walked away and then we came back and we were like, what kind of cheese is this? Um, he was like, unexpected cheddar. What, what kind of crack did you just feed us? Yeah. I would eat it um, with, by the fork. And these things are actually cracked. I don't know mm. what they put in them. It's just chocolate and strawberry, but it's so good. Delfina and I hung out all day today and I took a nap on the floor for an hour and now we're getting ready. I'm, I might go on a date. Such good cheese today. And then I air fried potatoes and ate potatoes and cheese for dinner, which my stomach is fine with. It doesn't love. And I hope that my hinge date texts me back because... We're both cancers, so that means that we're soulmates. I love cancers. Fuck. Saf.
No, actually. I don't need to unlock all of my car. It's just me getting it up. Ignore that. Beside me, I'm smoking a blunt. I'm doing my laundry. Um, this is my mug that I keep all of my coins in, and I have a special silver marble and a special red rock. I need to take a shit really bad and it's so funny that we're here because I need to tell you all the story. So once upon a time a few months ago, we clogged our toilet and we didn't know how to unclog our toilet. So we were living with a clogged toilet for, I would say maybe a day or two. I figure out how to get it unclogged and I was texting my landlord. I just didn't know how to use a plunger basically. You just gotta plunge it. But anyway, so I texted my man, not my manager, my landlord earlier that day and was like, hey, our toilet's clogged. Um, it's been clogged for a few days. Like, is there anything we can do to get it unclogged? Um, is there a plumber we can call? Yada, yada, yada. Um, Cause I also think that the situation was that the girls had tried to unclog it with a plunger and they couldn't. Um, so we were like, oh, well, we're screwed. We just got a clogged toilet, we're gonna have to, I don't know. <laughs> so there was a time when I really had to shit and I had drinking my coffee in the morning and my bowels were moving, things were moving and grooving down there. And I drove my car to Taco Bell, this one right over here, and asked the Taco Bell employee for the bathroom code, took a shit in Taco Bell and left and didn't even get anything and didn't wasn't even a customer i just fucking took a shit in their bathroom and and then after that i like called my parents and i was like i can't do this i can't like shit at taco bell i don't know what to do my landlord's not answering me back and i don't want to live with a blog toilet anymore and they were like you just have to like plunge it you just have to get it unclogged and then i went home and i learned how to unclog the toilet i just plunged it and put a little bit of water while I was plunging it and flushed it also while I was plunging it. It needs the airflow. A YouTube channel. YouTube me. <laughs> it's just um little collection. Pull yourself up. I am. <laughs> okay, your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> the dance. <laughs> okay. Turn your light now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just missed both my buses by like just a hair on both of them. <laughs>
good day at today. Had one table with one person made maybe $20. Kind of down in the dumps about not having any money because it's hard to be poor. Be being poor. Interesting that when I'm trying to avoid something, I start eating. Look at this shit. Absolutely, marvelous, darling. Darling, I must tell you, you look dashing. Do you think so, darling? I think you look dashing oh today. Pardon me. <laughs> Let me see the other side. It looks wonderful, darling. <laughs> Tick, 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 tick. 